In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your photos look like they're printed using Photoshop. Let's go. So before we get started, if you're looking for more tips, tricks, hacks, tutorials, and other design inspiration videos, then make sure you click that subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified every time that I post a new video. So you've probably seen this before. You open a book or look at a poster from the 1960s or earlier, and you'll see all these little dots on the printed images or on the text. That's called the half tone effect. And Photoshop has some things set up that can make this effect really easily. So I'm gonna show you right now. So the first thing we've got is our Photoshop artboard setup. I'm using my classic Instagram preset, which is 3840 by 4800, but any size artboard, any way you do your canvas will be fine for this effect. So the first thing we do is gonna bring a photo in and we're just gonna do a very basic black and white half tone effect to get things started. So I'm gonna choose a photo here um, and we're gonna go for one that has some good contrast. Uh, let's go for this photo. These are all from Unsplash. So once we've got that photo in place, uh, I'm not going to cut, I'm not going to expand it to all, to all of the edges just yet. I'm going to leave it how it is, uh, just so the effect covers the entire image, and then I'll resize later on. If we resize right now, what will happen is some of the edges that are cut off will not have the effect applied, and then when you go to resize it later on, you won't see any of the effect on those certain areas. So we just keep it, the full image, inside the, the constraints of the artboard, and we're going to add the effect right now. So, making sure that you've got in the color picker down here, you've got black uh, as the foreground color and white as the background color. Make sure it's that way around as well because that's pretty important for this effect. What we're gonna do is click on our image here. We're gonna go up to filter, filter gallery, and then you go down to sketch and then you'll see when it says half tone pattern. And this is basically how we do it. This is a really easy and simple way to get that effect. Now you see that the person's really washed out and overexposed. So we're gonna use the contrast slider here to adjust how her face shows up. So we're gonna bring that down slightly so we can see that eye. And then we've also got a size pattern, a uh, size adjuster here. And that just shows us, uh, that just allows us to control how big the dots are. So when we're working with posters and stuff, sometimes you wanna go a little bit more uh, just to really show off that effect. So we're gonna go for something like that. You can change the pattern type as well. So we can either have it as a circle, um, which looks a little bit more kind of like mysterious, um, I guess like kind of crime scene-y. Uh, I'm not gonna use that right now. Uh, and then you've got the lines, which looks more like a TV. So we're gonna go with dots uh, and make it look like a, a, something that's been printed. Just gonna adjust the contrast one more time to make sure I'm happy with that. Click OK. So now we have, and that was really quick, now we have the half tone effect applied. Now you're probably watching this right now thinking, that was great, but I don't want my photo to be black and white. And that's a really easy fix. Now, Fo Photoshop doesn't actually have a filter that lets you do half turning color, but what we can do is use the filter we just did and change some of the settings so that we can make this a colored image again. So the way to do that is we're gonna take the image we just changed, we're gonna go Command and J and duplicate that image. So now we've got two black and white half tone photos stacked on top of each other. Then what we're gonna do is come down to the bottom image, the first one, the original, I guess, we're going to right click on filter gallery and we're going to go delete smart filter. Now you'll notice there's been no changes and that's because the top image still has the effects applied. So now what we're going to do is adjust the blend mode of the top image and what we want is the black dots to stay and the white dots to go and you'll see what happens when we do this. So just filter through and you'll start to see the effects take shape. Now multiply looks pretty good, color burns very intense so if you want that kind of uh, very print look, like almost comic book, then this is a good one to go for. But it's worth just going through on your own, trying out all of these different uh, blend modes and seeing which one works for you. Right now, I think multiply works pretty well. So once we've done that, take our two layers, select them both, hold the shift key, and then just select both in the layer panel. We're gonna right click and convert that to smart object. Now that image is one piece. Now we're gonna resize that now, because what that's gonna do is mean that we've got the effect across the whole image not cut off at any point. And so that is pretty much it. That is our half tone effect applied and it looks very cool. I use this all the time on vintage posters, on vintage designs, and it just adds that little extra spice to make it look more believable like it was from the 1960s or earlier. And so that's it. It really is that easy to get the half tone effect in Photoshop. If you're gonna make a design using the techniques I just taught you, then make sure you tag me on Instagram at designbyruben. I'd love to see what you create.
If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like. It really does go a long way to helping this channel and consider subscribing for plenty more videos like this to come. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.